Hey, this is Ryan from Trails Off-Road. Today, we're on Sand Mountain in Hurricane, Utah, where we're gonna take on Triple Seven with Mike and Dan from RevKit. If you're looking for a thrilling, fairly technical trail with bonus lines to get as crazy as you want, this is probably the trail for you. If running the trail with a large group of other users, a good staging area is on the beach within Sand Hollow State Park. After going through the tunnel, head east for a short jaunt to the trailhead sign, where you will begin hitting the rocks almost immediately. These first few rock climbs are just a tiny warm up. You'll quickly get back into some more sand, then you'll drop down a ridge line where you'll get into the really exciting stuff. One of the most notable features on Triple Seven is the fin climb. This long, narrow ridgeline section has many challenging obstacles, including some very uncomfortable off-camber situations. If you don't like the feeling of being off-camber, then this probably isn't the trail for you. This section does take some time to work through, but it offers a few wild bonus lines for those of you that refuse to say no to a challenge. So what's your favorite part about Sand Hollow, Mike? Sand Hollow is super unique being that it's an open OHV area, so you can really just choose your own adventure, choose whatever line you want based on your rig, your capabilities, your skills, whatever it is. So I'm gonna try to take this crack up through here. If you're in a smaller rig, you just don't wanna do that today, you can do the same thing, but it's all part of the same trail. It's super unique in that, that manner because in Moab, you are dead stuck on the trail. There's paint, if you get off those paint, you're getting yelled at. Absolutely. And it is just super fun, super open here, and they take great care of it. Have as much fun as you can at whatever skill level, whatever you're up for for the day. Okay. Yeah. It's extremely hard to get bored along this trail. Whether it's tackling the obstacles or enjoying the epic backdrop of Sand Hollow Reservoir, there is plenty to see here, including several crossover sections with other trails that you might be interested in visiting later. A big problem that most off-road users have when they come out on the trail is that they're not sure which direction to go at a major intersection, such as this one with Double Sammy. It's really easy to get turned around, and that's where the benefit of the Trails Off-Road app comes into play. Our directions are clear and precise and take you exactly where you want to go. Feel 
feeling it. Feeling it. As with many of the trails on Sand Mountain, pinch point style obstacles are very common along 777. These tight squeezes may prove to be a bit challenging at times to wider vehicles or vehicles with weak steering components. Previous rock crawling experience will be beneficial for tackling these obstacles, but using a spotter can certainly help and prevent body damage. A very flexy suspension definitely doesn't hurt. So I thought Triple Sevens was a really awesome trail. We had a real big group today. There was about 24 of us. Um, it's kind of a longer trail, I feel like, compared to some of the other trails that are out here. The thing you gotta be careful with, intersects with a lot of other trails. Uh, make sure you got a really solid map with you. A lot of fun obstacles, a lot of bonus lines. Um, overall, fun, fun day. I like Triple Sevens. It's, it's right off the tunnel, right up the gut. A lot of trails out here. Um, it is it is good to have a good map because you have a bunch of trails cross it and I've definitely done it multiple times and maybe that's the first time I've done it exactly that same way. But it's a good trail for a big group because there's uh, lots of options on the line so you can get some hard stuff, you can get some medium stuff and there's bypasses. Ends at the top here so there's a ton of options for where we're going to head next which is going to be another trail. So we're just about at the end of the trail. We're at an area where joint effort actually merges with triple seven. We're going to head towards Sand Dune Way and then head back down to the tunnel. If you're looking for more trails like this one, check out Trails Off-Road on the web and in the app stores. We'll see you next time.